Welcome back to the very last day, day number five, to Lake Shelbyville. This is our last day to fish. We're gonna give it all we got today. I don't know how long we're gonna stay out. It is about 10 a.m. right now, so we came out a little later so we could stay out as long as possible, pretty much all day, get the afternoon bite as well. We leave tomorrow morning, so this is, like I said, this is our last day to fish, last hour, last cast. So hopefully we can get on again. I'm gonna go to the one spot where we had the most luck right off the beginning. We're gonna work our way around the wind. Not too strong today. Average of nine miles an hour with gusts of 15. So that's not bad at all. One thing that might screw up the fishing a little bit today is the cold front this morning. We woke up and it was like 35 degrees. Right now it's about 45 degrees. The water temp is 56. So it went down quite a bit, but you know, we're not gonna know until we try. So let's get it. All right guys, back to the pink chartreuse. Fish are jumping all over the shoreline. All right guys, a huge bass broke water right here. We're gonna try and get it. Mag, Mag, get those, get those. Whoa. That was actually pretty badass. That was like mother nature at its finest. Mother turtle. Oh, did I almost just hit you with that? Maybe. Megan's trying out the Primal Urge Foods jerky for the first time. Italiano chicken. What do you think of it? It's really good. Use promo code MGF, save five for five dollars off your first box. Smoked meat made with alligator, pork, and beef. Sounds phenomenal. New spot, new location. Moving into this timber, there was a ton of boats back in that timber over there. So there's a little island right here that we're gonna fish off of. It's all marked up. Got one. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a little drum. Oh my gosh. This is a little freshwater drum. Guys, this is my first freshwater drum ever. This is sweet. Will you take a quick pic on your phone? I've caught two new species I've ever caught in my life on this trip. Yeah. A yellow bass and a freshwater drum. Oh my gosh, I think one hit it on the drop or I snagged on a piece of wood. All right, so I'm gonna switch to this black and blue chatterbait. The water is murky, and I see a bunch of shad hopping around. We actually saw a few dead shad back there floating in the water. A few of them were actually pretty big. So I'm gonna try and match a hatch and go for some bass. I've been going for pretty much crappie. Both times we've been out in the lake, but now it's time to try and get a bass. Let's do it. All right, guys, so it is 1.15 right now. We got out here at about 9, 10 o'clock. We've been out here for pretty much three hours. One little freshwater drum to account for it so not too much it's definitely slow it was 35 degrees this morning when we woke up so i definitely think the cold front that came through with all the rain definitely has a lot to do with what is going on today but we're not going to give up we're still going to keep going for them i'm actually going for bass right now I'm going with the style that i found that works actually last year this is actually a ned hook from z-man and then this is their copper truce longer wacky worm kind of thing so i just wacky wormed it and this works for me a lot up in the north woods literally throwing everything between crankbaits swim baits chatter baits live bait stuff for crappie and we just can't seem to find the ticket so like i said we're gonna keep trying we're not gonna give up this is our last day to fish all right so i just asked a few fishermen over by those docks we were just at uh how they're doing and everyone's saying that just a few small fish, which makes sense. I mean, we've been to all the spots we were the first day and we were not getting any bites. I mean, we've had that one little bite of the freshwater drum over there. And I had a bite here as well. We came back to this spot. Other than that, it's been very dead, very slow, but there's no skunk on this boat once again, which is good. I would like to get a few more fish, but that weather and that front that came through being 35 degrees this morning definitely had a lot to do with why the fishing is so bad today. Can't do anything about it, can't complain, just adapt to the situation and overcome it. Here we go, Bear grills.
Oh, this is a good one. This is a really nice one. All right, guys. The well-deserved fish. This is a good one. We grab me that nitro measuring thing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You let it go. It, it flew out of my hands. <laughs> that was a well-deserved fish after all day long, four hours, and I finally got one. We came back to the old glory spot. I tailing down pretty much right in front of this point. I got the hit and I got it. That one was bleeding super bad, so I wanted to get it, as you can see, there's some blood right here. And I wanted to get it back in the water just to kind of, I, I don't know, I don't want to kill it. I was about to measure it. Was literally just dipping it to get the blood off it so I could put it back on the boat. It just flicked, flicked out of my hand. So that was a good crappie though. I wish I could have got a picture of that one for the Instagram, but we're all good. Thank gosh, we got another crappie. I literally was just saying to Meg, I need one more. And there it is. So that gave me a whole new life. I'm gonna keep casting. Try to get a few more before the day ends. We are back from Shelbyville, and boy, what a drive home it was. And to really top off the whole trip, after the day five footage from after, pretty much right before we took the boat out and on, all that footage got deleted somehow, I'm not sure. If I could pick any footage to get deleted, it probably would have been what got deleted. So it kind of worked out, and it wasn't too bad, so I need to just film a new outro. I want to say thank you to Wolf Creek Lodge for being an awesome resort. Very nice cabins, very nice resort. I'll leave a link in the description below for Wolf Creek Lodge. If you guys ever want to stay there in Shelbyville slash Windsor, Illinois. Shelbyville as a whole, fishing and launching the boat and the rain, it was just all a very big learning experience. I had a lot of fun. We caught some fish. We didn't have one skunk day. But the rain being pretty much, we had like a downpour for three out of the five days there. So thank gosh we had a few extra days to fish. We just didn't want to go out in the rain and film there and just have all the camera equipment get screwed over. So that is the only reason why we didn't send it out in the rain. But up in Wisconsin, there's gonna be none of that. If it's raining, I'm taking the GoPro and not gonna take the DSLR. Like I said, this was all a very big learning curve. It was a trip well needed too. For me to learn the boat, it's a brand new boat. I don't want to it up. Learning the electronics, everything, I feel like I could literally go anywhere now, launch a boat by myself pretty much figure out anything. With having those electronics, I could figure out any lake almost. And that's what we did down in Shelbyville. To go down in a new lake, figure out the water, catch some fish, actually get the species you're targeting is a great feeling. Bottom line, we had a good time. Thank you to Megan, my girlfriend, for filming. It was a super awesome time we had down there. And I would definitely do it again. In two days, we leave for Florida. I'm gonna be down there for five days. After that, we're gonna come back, pretty much have a week to recuperate, and then I go up to Northern Wisconsin for about four to five weeks filming videos and fishing, pretty much fishing tournaments. We got, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the Northwoods. And I'm very excited. That's gonna be all pretty much the month of May and a little bit of June. At the end of May, I'm meeting up with Spencer Samploski too to film a video over in Sturgeon Bay. I think that's gonna be an awesome time. Big shout out to Follow the Action Outdoors. I cannot do any of this without you guys. I appreciate it so much, this opportunity to fish and film and to promote you guys. To be teamed up with a company like you guys, I'm very fortunate and I'm very happy to be a part of you guys. So thank you so much. I look forward to this entire year and all the trips that have happened so far are extremely awesome. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I cannot do this without you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this mini series. I could not appreciate your guys' view more. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you guys did. Drop a comment about places you want me to go to next or species you want me to target. So please tune in next week for another episode of McGrath Fishing. And I'm out. Probably the scariest drive I've ever had in my whole entire life. We had torrential downpour, not just like for a little bit, the whole time driving back, the whole time from start to finish. I could see probably 15 to 30 feet in front of me and that was it. I merged over with the boat. This guy slammed on his brakes going 70. No one's in front of him for no reason. I hit the hook so hard in my dad's truck. I truly thought the boat was gonna jackknife. I've never been actually that nervous driving or trailering a boat my entire life until this drive home.